Okay, next we got this Costa Rican striped knee tarantula. Okay, oh yeah, and I've liked, I love what it's done to its thing. As you can see, it's webbed around right there, and it's dug out. It's a little, little crater or a little den for it. Okay, and um. One thing that you guys have to be, or you guys have to focus on with the tarantula, the Costa Rican striped knee. Okay, so one thing you guys have to do when you have one of these is always fill up their water and overfill it a little because they do come from Costa Rica where it is pretty humid. So yeah, you do want to give them just a little bit of You want to give them just a little bit of What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? So yeah. Okay. I have fed it a little bit recently, so hopefully it'll eat on camera. If it does it, no, we're not even gonna say that. It is. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get it to eat on camera. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god, stop fucking lying. This they love, or in my opinion. Hold it today. Hold it? Yeah. Not if I'm about to feed it. Okay, this roach actually is a little pregnant, but screw it. The egg sac's barely developing, and I don't want to waste your guys' time, so. Okay. Don't worry. Get Make sure you have your... No. Get a good view of everything. Make sure you have the view of the tarantula, because they attack fast. Oh. They attack okay. fast. Okay. What the hell? What the hell? Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Um... Hello? Wait, let me get on this one. My god. Okay, let me wake up. Oh, okay, that's defensive posture. I should not have done that. That was not a good thing to do. So yeah, holding the tarantula is out of the question right now, as you can see. If you could get a close-up of those fangs. Here. Yeah, I do not want to get bit by that. Jeez Louise, yeah. Um, usually Costa Rican striped knees are a pretty docile um, tarantula, but mine is just not having it, especially because I just poked it like an idiot. So I'm pretty sure it's not going to eat, but I'll try feeding it later today. And if it goes successful, I'll throw in a clip right now or right here. So yeah, I'm going to put this back and hopefully you guys see you in the end of the day. Also, Hello there. Um, something I want to show you guys. I do have a couple of western fence lizard eggs. I just, I don't want to make a whole video on it. I'd rather just show you guys in a random video. So yeah, hopefully they do hatch. Um, I, I, yeah, that one, that one's dead. That one's not good. But yeah, all the rest look like they might be able to hatch. So hopefully they do. If they do, I will make a video on it. But yeah. Um, I've never bred lizards. Um, I randomly just caught some. Yeah, don't show that. Oh, hell no! Yeah, um, that's, that's a failure. I don't breed lizards. I randomly just caught a fence lizard and I put it in my tank for like a day and then it just pooped out eggs. So I was like, well, I don't know where the hell, I can't just put the eggs in the wild. So I was like, might as well take care of them. Um, can you back, bro, stop freaking getting all up in my nose hairs, dog. <laughs> like, geez, okay. Next, guys. <laughs> okay, no, for real. Next, next thing we got are these hissing cockroaches. So I'm gonna make sure Sister has a good view on these before anything. Okay, so get a good view on that. I'm gonna get their food ready because if one of them start running, my sister's gonna freak out and she's probably gonna drop the whole container. And yeah, that's not gonna be good. Roach food. Roach and cockroach food. Cockroach food. Okay. Yeah. As you can see, um, I have a bunch of different morphs in here. I have some Halloween hissers, black tiger hissers, and then there's the normal um, Madagascar hissing roaches. Yeah. I think they're a cool pet. Yeah. Okay, where the hell? My sister's freaking out. I'll probably put up the audio if you heard her freaking 
breathing in all deep. <laughs> My goddamn, I don't even know what the hell. Okay, you go right there. You go right there. And yeah, so there is, they are a pretty cool species to take care of. They're more like a pet to me than a feeder. So I'm gonna put some food in here. They go through this food pretty fast. And I have a mixture of like three different commercially sold um, roach food mixed in to this one. So it is a variety for their diet. And yeah, also I bought a bunch of these Halloween histories as little nymphs. And yeah, they're growing pretty good. I think this one's the biggest one I have, the Halloween histories. And I don't know if that's a black tiger hisser or a freaking Halloween. I don't know what the hell that one is. But yeah, um, don't be under the goddamn thing. I need to close it. Um, can you please get the hell off? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, and next I'm gonna add some more of this water gel. And yeah, that's pretty much all you need when it comes to taking care of these. You just need um, a humid box. You have to be careful because they can climb. They can climb smooth surfaces, and Vaseline does not stop that from happening. So I just make sure have them in this small tub to keep in humidity and to also keep them in so Hello they don't there. escape. Because if they do escape, um, they're not gonna infest your house. Filming random stuff, bro. <laughs> Film me talking. Cause I'm not really about the GTO Pippachin that boy. Hey, go that color yeah, that boy. Oh, hey, now, boy, oh, dirt, I but stink, I but afro, hey, lip gloss, chin, I but ugly, I but ugly, dirt. What the hell was I talking about? Oh, yeah. They're not gonna infest the house. If oh, yeah. Are. So, um, Halloween hissers, or I mean, Madagascar hissing cockroaches are not gonna infest your house. Because if they get out, they're pretty much gonna die wherever you live in the States or whatever, unless you live in a really tropical place. Because they need humidity, they come from an island. Madagascar, so yeah. Okay guys, so that's the end of part two, you know what I'm saying? Okay, hope you enjoyed it, you know. Okay, there might be a part three. If not, it's the end of the video or you just won't see this freaking thing at all. Anyways, that's the end of part two, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Late. Late! <laughs>